This is Chris Badeo's like, subscribe, subscribe to TNW Wrestling on YouTube, subscribe to Mother Channel, Word of Chris, and subscribe to this channel, Chris Badeo's, and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and both of my TikToks. I'll be down there in the description box. And I'm here to do my WWE Elimination Chamber 2023 reviews. So here we go discussing about tonight's Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. This is the last stop to WrestleMania for this year. Uh, and yeah, let's go ahead and just start breaking it down. Now we kick off with the first match of the night. It was an Elimination Chamber match. It was Asuka versus Natalia versus Raquel Rodriguez versus Nikki Cross versus Carmella versus Liv Morgan in a Elimination Chamber match. Uh, this is a number one contenders Elimination Chamber match winner. This match will be facing the Raw Women's Champion Bianca Belair at WrestleMania for the Raw Women's Championship. So yeah, uh, that's what the winner gets. And we start off the match with the first two people. It was uh, Liv Morgan and Raquel Rodriguez, I think. No, Liv Morgan and Natalia, my fault. Those was the first two that started off the match. Everybody else was in the pods and stuff. And it was a pretty good match. Eventually, everybody starts coming out. Nikki Cross, uh, Carmella kept on teasing Asuka a few times in this match and everything. Uh, at one point, this, they had some cool spots where we see Nikki Cross jump off the top of the pod with a crossbody onto everybody outside of the ring and stuff, which was pretty cool. Uh, at one point we seen uh, Raquel pick up Nikki Cross and run her into the pod, uh, which was pretty cool. Puts her in the ring, pins her one, two, three. Nikki Cross was the first one eliminated in this match. And then we seen Carmella kept on trying to run away and stuff whenever Asuka got into the ring. So yeah, Asuka was just chasing around Carmella and just beating her down and everything. Uh, and that was just pretty cool as well. There was a cool spot where we see Liv Morgan on the top of the pod and Raquel on the top turnbuckle and Liv just jumps off the top of the pod with Sunset Flip onto, uh, the Sunset Flip Powerbomb onto Raquel, which was pretty cool and everything. That was a really cool spot right there. Probably my favorite spot in this match. Uh, everybody was just going. And then at one point we see Natalia lock on the sharpshooter onto Liv Morgan. Liv Morgan kept on trying to fight out of it and everything, but it was not enough because eventually Asuka comes over there grabbing the arms and stuff, pretty much locking on Asuka lock. At the same time, while Natalia had the sharpshooter locked on to uh, Liv Morgan, making Liv Morgan pass out for the pain, and Liv Morgan was the second person eliminated in this match. And then, you know, it was going on a little bit. Asuka and Natalia was going at it, and then at one point, Natalia actually locks on the sharpshooter onto live onto uh Asuka try to make her tap out but then Carmella comes in there hitting a super kick onto Natalia pinning her for the one two three eliminating Natalia from this match and then we was only down to three people Raquel Rodriguez Asuka and Carmella um we've seen Raquel picking up Asuka trying to hit a Tohada bomb onto Asuka but then uh Carmella breaks that up, starts hitting some super kicks onto Raquel. Uh, Asuka hitting some spinning roundhouse kicks onto her and stuff. And they kept on laying out Raquel with some kicks and stuff upside the head up until Asuka hits a shining wizard onto her. And both of them pins her at the same time for the three count. So yeah, Raquel Rodriguez was the next one eliminated. And then we was down to the final two, Asuka and Carmella. Carmella was trying quickly. Hit a super kick onto Asuka, trying to pin her for a three count, but Asuka barely kicking out at two. And then eventually Asuka starts beating down Carmella, locking on her submission hold, and then making Carmella tap out. So yeah, Asuka defeated Carmella, Natalia, Liv Morgan, Raquel Rodriguez, and Nikki Cross in the number one contenders elimination chamber match. So at WrestleMania it is now official Bianca Belair versus Asuka for the Raw Women's Championship. So, yeah, I uh, got that prediction right right there. But it was a pretty good match. A uh, pretty good way to kick off Elimination Chamber and everything since they're in Montreal and stuff. Uh, for that match, I'll give it I'll give it uh, three and a half stars as well. I'll give it. it was a pretty good entertaining match and the right person won the match, you know. So, yeah, that's why I'll give this match three and a half stars. Uh, later on tonight, they got Roman Reigns versus Sami Zayn one-on-one -on -one for the titles. Not only that, they got another... United States Championship Elimination Chamber match later on tonight. And they got Edge and Beth Phoenix versus Finn Balor and Rhea Ripley in a mixed tag team match. But it looks like up next we're going to be getting Brock Lesnar versus Bobby Lashley one-on-one -on -one up next on Elimination Chamber. So yeah, it looks like that match will be up next. 
But yeah, I'll see you guys later until the next thing happens on Elimination Chamber. See you guys later until then. So the next thing that happened on Elimination Chamber, it was a one-on-one -on -one match. It was Brock Lesnar versus Bobby Lashley one-on-one. -on -one. And this match it was okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get into it. So they start going at it and stuff. They go outside of the ring. They get back into the ring and all of a sudden Bobby Lashley hits a spear onto Brock Lesnar. He pins him, but Lesnar kicking out at two. He hits another spear onto Lesnar. Lesnar kicks out that one as well. And then he was trying to hit lock on the hurt lock, but Lesnar fought out of it, picking up Lashley onto his shoulders, hitting an F5 onto Bobby Lashley, pins him, one, two, Bobby Lashley barely kicking out at two, lifts him up again, hits another one onto him, pins him again, but Lashley barely kicking out at two, and then he lifts him up for the third time, about to hit a third F5 onto him, up until Bobby Lashley gets off his shoulders, pushes him to the ropes, and then he hits another spear onto Brock Lesnar. He waited for him to get back up. He locks on the hurt lock. It looked like uh, Brock Lesnar was going to give up. It looks like he was about to tap out or either pass out. And, you know, he was dropping down and stuff up until he hits a low blow onto, Bro onto Bobby Lashley, breaking up the hurt lock and causing a disqualification. So, yeah, Bobby Lashley defeated Brock Lesnar by disqualification. Yeah, uh that's what happened but then after the match ended uh lesnar calls the referee over the referee comes over to him and then he picks up the referee and hits an f5 onto the referee and then he picks up bobby lashley hits another f5 onto bobby lashley gets out the ring starts tearing apart the announce table and stuff grabs bobby lashley brings him out there lifts him up on his shoulders and hits another f5 onto bobby lashley through the announce table, laying him out, and then he grabs the referee and hits a F5 onto that other, onto the same referee, onto the broken pieces of the announce table, laying him out as well. So yeah, uh, that's what happened. Uh, Bobby Lashley defeated Brock Lesnar by disqualification, and it looks like this feud will probably not end. So here's what I'm thinking that's going to happen at WrestleMania: probably a triple threat match between Bray Wyatt, Brock Lesnar, and Bobby Lashley. That's why I kind of somewhat see now. So, yeah. Uh, we're going to see what else happens, though. So, this is going to be pretty interesting to see, I guess. But, yeah. Uh, I guess the feud is probably not over yet between Bobby Lashley and Brock Lesnar. You know, maybe go up to WrestleMania and do, like, a triple threat match with Bray Wyatt. So, yeah. We'll have to see what else happens. But later on tonight, we still got Roman Reigns versus Sami Zayn for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship in the main event. Not only that, we'll see the United States Championship Elimination Chamber match later on tonight, and we got Edge and Beth Phoenix versus Finn Balor and Rhea Ripley in a mixed tag team match later on tonight. But then, after the match ended between Lesnar and Lashley, they did show a nice, uh, you know, package of WrestleMania this year since they're going to Hollywood. They were showing some clips of Seth Rollins dressed up as the Joker and stuff, doing his dances and laughing and everything. You know how he does, and then uh, you know Beth, uh, Becky Lynch's Batman stuff, and they get face to face and all that stuff, and yeah, uh, pretty cool to see, pretty good, entertaining and all that. Really can't wait to see more of this, like from WrestleMania 21, WrestleMania 21 when they was doing those things with the movie clips or whatever. That was nice as hell, and yeah, I think these ones are gonna be good as well. But yeah, that's what happened there. Pretty good stuff, but yeah. I'll see you guys later until the next thing that happens on Elimination Chamber. See you guys later until then. So the next thing that happened on Elimination Chamber, uh, we have a mixed tag team match. It was Edge and Beth Phoenix versus Finn Balor and Rhea Ripley with Dominic Mysterio at ringside the Judgment Day in a mixed tag team match. Now, I don't know if I gave my rating for that Bobby Lashley and Brock Lesnar match, but for that match, I give it one and a half stars for what happened uh, during the match and what happened after the match. I hate when matches end in DQs, but it's whatever at this point. But yeah, that's what happened there. And then we get to this mixed tag team match. It was a pretty good match. Uh, during this match, we see Beth Phoenix climbing up on the top turnbuckle and stuff. Dominic knocks her off the top turnbuckle and everything. Edge had chase Dominic out of ringside, chasing him up the ramp and stuff, and Dominic runs backstage. But then during the match, he comes back down and everything went freaking go away. Fans just... <laughs> just hating on Dominic, him and his prison life, but yeah, um, during this match, we see, like, uh, Edge locking on the execution, 
on to Finn Balor trying to make him tap out and then Rhea Ripley gets locked into the same move by Beth Phoenix at one point and Rhea Ripley's trying to stop uh, Finn Balor from tapping out and everything and then Dominic gets on the ring apron, throws in some brass knuckles inside the ring. Uh, Beth Phoenix breaks up the submission hole and goes up to Dominic. That's when Rhea Ripley knocks Beth Phoenix out the ring, grabs the brass knuckles, hitting Edge upside the head, knocking him out. Pin, uh, Finn Balor pins Edge one to the pin got broken up, but Beth Phoenix was kind of like a second too late, and Edge kind of like had to throw his shoulder up, so that spot was kind of like botched right there, but it's whatever. Uh, he still kicked out pretty much in a way, throwing his shoulder up, so in a way, like, he still got out of it, you know? But, yeah, that's what happened there. And then after that, there was a pretty cool spot where we see uh, Edge and... Finn Balor on the second turnbuckle and Dominic got thrown into the ropes and everything and then Beth Phoenix and Rhea Ripley goes up like Rhea Ripley picks up Edge uh, Beth Phoenix picks up Finn Balor and they both had power bomb onto each one of them which was pretty cool and then uh, you know Edge starts beating down Finn Balor and everything and Finn Balor starts coming back during this match. Rhea Ripley um, was on the steel steps and had Beth Phoenix on the steel steps grabs the steel chair trying to hit her upside the head with the chair Beth Phoenix moves her head, and Rhea Ripley misses. Then uh, Beth Phoenix trips Rhea Ripley on the steel steps, picks her up, and hits the glam slam onto her outside of the ring. Edge then hits the edge, uh, the execution onto Finn, Finn Balor that lift up DDT onto him, and then he hits a suicide dive onto Dominic Mysterio, taking him out. He gets back into the ring. Then he gets hit with a sling blade by Finn Balor. Finn Balor setting up for that drop kick onto him in the corner. But then when he runs into it, he gets hit with a spear by Edge. Edge picks up Finn Balor and then him and Beth Phoenix hits the Shattered Machine, the Revival's finisher move or FTR's finisher move. That's where they hit onto uh, Finn Balor and then they pin Balor for the three counts. So yeah, Edge and Beth Phoenix defeated Finn Balor and Rhea Ripley tonight in the mixed tag team match. That's what happened. They won the match. Um, but yeah, for that match... I'll give it three stars as well. It was a pretty good, entertaining match. That's what happened. I was going for the Judgment Day to pick up wins just because the Rhea Ripley could pick up some momentum, but it looks like that ain't going to be happening. But then after that, we see Roman Reigns and Paul Heyman talking backstage, and Roman Reigns was talking about how he's going to beat Sami Zayn tonight. But yeah, that match is still to come later on tonight in the main event, Sami Zayn versus Roman Reigns for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. But next, we're going to be seeing Austin Theory defending the United States Championship up next in the Elimination Chamber match. So yeah, I'll see you guys later until the next thing that happens on Elimination Chamber. See you guys later until then. So the next thing that happened on Elimination Chamber, it was an Elimination Chamber match. It was the United States Champion Austin Theory versus Seth Rollins versus Johnny Gargano versus Bronson Reed versus Damian Priest versus Montez Ford in an Elimination Chamber match for the United States Championship. Now we kick off the match with Johnny Gargano and Seth Rollins and, uh, yeah, I uh, think this is, the, this is the first ever time that they ever went one-on-one, kind of, in a WWE ring. Uh, but, yeah, it was pretty good. It was going back and forth and everything, trading pinfalls and all that stuff. And then, eventually, everybody starts coming down. Like, also, Theory was the, third per was the first one out of the pod, and he starts getting beat up by Seth Rollins and Montez Ford inside the pod and everything. And then, eventually, Damian Priest comes out, and then Bronson Reed, and then Montez Ford, which was the last one out. Everybody was in there at the same time. And there was one cool moment with Montez Ford where he climbs up the top of the uh, chains, and uh, he just jumps off with the crossbody onto everybody else out of the ring. And then that's led to uh, pretty much Johnny Gargano jumping over the top rope with a DDT onto Bronson Reed. And then uh, we see Montez Ford kicking... Uh, Bronson Reed upside the head and stuff. Seth Rollins hits a curb stump onto him and then onto Bronson Reed. And then Montez Ford climbs up the top turnbuckle, jumping off with the frog splash onto Bronson Reed, pinning him for the three count. So yeah, Bronson Reed was the first person eliminated in this match. And then there was a cool moment where we see Seth Rollins and Johnny Gargano climbing up the chains. 
Uh, and then they get on top of the pod, and then Damian Priest, Austin Theory was trying to climb up there as well, but they got knocked down. And then uh, Gargano and Rollins was going at it on top of the pod. Rollins was trying to power bomb Gargano off the top of the pod onto everybody that's on the floor, but Gargano reverses it with a Hurricane Rana onto Seth Rollins, onto everybody. And like Gargano hurt himself uh, pretty bad, but he still continued on with this match. Um, Priest gets him back into the ring, hits the razor's edge onto Johnny Gargano, pinning him for the three count. So Johnny Gargano was the second person eliminated in this match. And then we're down to the last four, Seth Rollins, Austin Theory, Damian Priest, and Montez Ford. Montez Ford going wild and everything onto everybody. And then we see... We see Damian Priest being the next one eliminated by Montez Ford with the frog splash and everything. Uh, because he was going at it. But then went down with the final three, Montez, Austin, and Seth. Montez going wild and everything, hit the front flips over the top rope onto both of them, taking them out and everything. He got uh, Austin Theory inside the ring, trying to beat him down and everything. He beats him down. Austin Theory was at one point trying to hit eight town down onto uh, Montez, but Montez gets off his shoulders, kicks him upside the head, climbs up the top turnbuckle, jumps off with the frog splash onto Austin Theory, but Theory puts his knees up. Montez lands on his knees. Montez is like halfway out of the ring through the bottom rope, but then he gets hit with the curb stump by Seth Rollins outside of the floor. Theory then hits Rollins, drags Montez back in the middle of the ring, pinning him for a three count. So yeah, Montez Porter was the next one eliminated. We're only down to two more, Seth Rollins and Austin Theory. Uh, both of them was going at it, and Montez Porter looks like he was okay. Uh, so the referee calls down a bunch of referees and officials and all that to come and help Montez Ford out the ring. While that was going on, Rollins and Theory was going at it. Rollins takes out Austin Theory with a pedigree inside the ring. But while Montez Ford, while the doors was like open and stuff because Montez Ford needed help to get out, Logan Paul eventually makes his way in there, hitting a buckshot Larry onto Seth Rollins because Seth Rollins was waiting to hit the curb stump onto Theory. And then uh, Rollins was trying to get back up and he hit, gets hit with a curb stump by Logan Paul. Logan Paul lays him out and he walks out. Talking about that's what you get for talking so much crap, Rollins. The theory gets back up, lifts up Seth Rollins, has him up on his shoulders, and hits A Town down onto Seth Rollins, pinning him for the one, two, three. So, yeah, Austin Theory defeated Seth Rollins, Montez Ford, Damian Priest, Johnny Gargano, and Bronson Reed in the Elimination Chamber match. And, yeah, he has retained the United States Championship. That's what happened. Pretty good match. I give that match uh, four stars. That's why I give it really, really good match right there. But yeah, that's what happened there. And up next, it will be the main event. It will be the undisputed WWE Universal Champion Roman Reigns versus Seth Roll, uh, versus Sami Zayn one one for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Up next, Elimination Chamber. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Until the next thing that happens on Elimination Chamber. See you guys later. Until then. So the next thing that happened on Elimination Chamber, it was a one-on-one -on -one match. It was the main event. It was the undisputed WWE Universal Champion Roman Reigns with Paul Heyman at ringside versus Sami Zayn one-on-one -on -one for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Now, this was the main event, and in this match, it was a pretty good match. Roman comes out, the fans are booing him and chanting fuck you Roman and everything. Sami Zayn comes out, obviously a big ovation for him. His, I think his wife is at ringside and everything. Uh, they was taking it in for a little bit, you know, walking around the ring and stuff. Roman and Sami was. And it, it was a really good match. It was going back and forth and everything. Sami pulling out a lot of moves that we haven't seen in a minute. I think he was trying to pull out the uh, torpedo DDT at one point and stuff. A uh, bunch of near falls and stuff in this match. It was just going back and forth between Roman and Sami. Uh, at one point, we see Sami Zayn hit the Haluva kick onto Roman Reigns. He pins him, and Roman barely kicking out at two. Roman hit a spear onto him at one point, and Sami Zayn barely kicking out at two. They were just going back and forth with each other. Uh, at one point, the, ref the referee got taken out on an accident and stuff by Roman Reigns. Uh, and then Roman and Sammy was going at it. We see Sammy hit the Superman punch onto Roman. Roman backs into the corner. Sammy hits the Haluva kick onto him, pins him, but there is no referee. And then we finally got a referee coming down and stuff, and Roman kicks out and everything. And Roman was trying to hit the spear and stuff onto uh, Sammy, and Sammy kept on moving out the way and stuff. And then at one point, Roman was trying to hit the Superman punch onto Sammy. Sammy ducks. 
Uh, the referee gets hit instead. The second referee does get hit. And then Sammy comes up, hits a Superman punch onto Roman. And then Roman comes back with a Superman punch onto Sammy, taking him out. So both of them's down and stuff. Uh, and then we see uh, Sammy Zane hit the Blue Thunder Bomb at one point and stuff. You know, kept on going at it with Roman. And then we see uh, Jimmy Uso come down. But yeah, Jimmy Uso comes down. He hits not one, not two, but three super kicks onto Sami Zayn, taking him out. He climbs up the top turnbuckle, jumps off with the Uso splash onto Roman. He throws Roman's short uh, arm over him, pinning, uh, you know, trying to get the pin and stuff. But then he kicks out at two, Sami does. And it was just going back and forth between those two guys uh, with Roman and Sami and stuff. But then Jay Uso comes down because uh, Roman got to steal chair and stuff. Uh, Jimmy Uso got taken out by Sami Zayn with the Huluva kick, and he turns around and gets it with the spear, and he was getting pinned, but he kicked out at two. And Jay Uso comes down when Roman has still chair. Jay gets in between them, and then Roman passes him to still chair. Jay didn't want to hit Sami, and uh, then Roman gets into his face and starts pushing him in the face, just like the same thing he did to Sami. And then uh, Roman turns around, Sami comes up hitting a spear, but he accidentally hit it on Jay. And then Roman, uh, Sammy turns around, he gets hit with a Superman punch by Roman and then gets hit with a spear, getting pinned for the one, two, three. So yeah, Roman Reigns defeated Sami Zayn tonight and he has retained the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. That's what happened. And he got beat with the steel chair, by the way. Roman beat him with the steel chair multiple times uh, during this match with the steel chair and then he hit the spear and got the three count. Uh, but yeah, that's what happened. Pretty good match. And then after the match ended, Jimmy Uso gets back into the ring, starts beating down uh, Sami Zayn and stuff, and Roman Reigns is in there. Kevin Owens makes his return. He comes down, beats up, uh, beats up Roman Reigns and Jimmy Uso. He hits a stunner onto Jimmy Uso, and he hits a stunner onto Roman. He uh, gets outside of the ring, hits a pop-up power bomb onto Jimmy Uso through an announce table. He gets back into the ring. Paul Heyman was hitting Kevin Owens in the back and stuff like he's going to do something. But then he took a stunner as well. It was not the best looking stunner, but Paul Heyman took a stunner. And then Roman's in the corner and stuff, getting back up and stuff. And then Kevin Owens moves out the way for Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn hits one final Huluva kick onto Roman Reigns, laying him out. So yeah. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens are standing tall, and Roman Reigns retains the titles. So, yeah, that's what happened. Pretty good main event, and what happened after the match was pretty good. I give it all four and a half stars as well. Give it really good stuff. But, yeah, for tonight's Elimination Chamber pay per view, I've got to give it eight and a half stars. That's what I'll give it. It was a really good show. I like the men's Elimination Chamber match. I like the main event. The mixed tag team match was pretty good. The women's Elimination Chamber match was all right. And um, probably the worst match was Brock Lesnar and Bobby Lashley. But, yeah, uh, just because of the finish and stuff. But, yeah, that was Elimination Chamber. Like, subscribe. Subscribe to Team W Wrestling on YouTube. Subscribe to Mother Channel Worth Chris. And subscribe to this channel, Chris Vidalos. And follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and both of my TikToks. I'll be down there in the description box. And I'll see you guys later for... Uh, this Monday's Monday Night Raw Reviews. See you guys later. Until then.